In this video, we are going to learn how to add a row to a data frame in Pandas. We're going to start by loading in a data set to work with. So we have this empty cars data set here. So one way we can add a row to a data frame is the append function. So we can say, here's our new row. We're just going to duplicate this Volvo row. And then we can just use append. So we say the name of our data frame, empty cars dot append, and then we pass in the new row. So empty cards that append row we'll resave that so when we run this we see that we have indeed added volvo again to the end of the data frame so now it appears twice because the row we added or appended happened to be already the last row in the data frame so now it's there twice and we can also add a row using row assignment so to do that we can say the name of the data frame empty cars dot loc and then we can say the name of the new row we want to append. So here we're going to put in something called new car and we'll set that equal to or assign it to a list of the values that we want to put in. And we'll check the tail again. And this should append or add a new row with the index new car at the end of our current data frame. So let's run that and see that indeed we have added another new row called new car at the end with values that we specified in that list. Now, in these first two methods, the rows we added were added to the very end of the data frame. There might be a situation where you want to add a row to a given index position, essentially insert a row into a certain spot and shift everything else after that down by one index. If you want to do that and you don't want something just at the end, you can do that. It's a little bit trickier and there's different ways to do this, but here's one approach that should work. So we're just going to start by creating a new row to add. So you don't have to worry about too much what this is doing. It's just making a row of values. Then we want to choose an index where we're going to insert the row. And then to do the insertion, we can actually just use some indexing and append. So to do that, we're basically just going to take the MT cars data set and slice all of the rows up to that index position that we specified. So that's taking everything before where we want to insert the new row. Then we're just going to append the new row itself, the insertion row, and then everything that's after that index. So that's what this part is. So basically we're just splitting the data into three parts, everything before the index we want, the row itself, which is at the index we want, and everything after that index. And if we just append those things together, we will create a new data frame that has the new row at the proper position. So when we run this and we run tail again, we should see our new insert car row that two from the end of the data frame because that is where we put the insertion index. So let's run that and see that indeed when we look at the end of the data frame with tail, the insertion car has been inserted two from the end of the data frame. Now all the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, you can drop a like or hit subscribe and I will see you again next time.